Class of 2020, what's up? What's good? This video is for you. So today marks the second video of my back to school series and it will be the freshman advice. I asked some of you guys to send some questions and for those of you who did, thank you. And I will be answering your questions and at the end of the video, I'm also going to be giving some of my personal advice and just things I wish I would have known before going to high school or just tips I think will come in handy. So the first question is, does it get overwhelming and how can I cope? It does get overwhelming just because it's a big transition from middle school to high school. Besides that, the year is just pretty easy. I think after about a month or two, you should get the gist of things and it'll just become a routine and yeah, it should just be pretty easy. But besides the whole transition, it's not overwhelming. Do you make a lot of friends playing sports? Yes, you make a lot of new friends playing sports, you get to know a lot of people. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you guys trying out for a sport because you get to interact with the upperclassmen or just new people you wouldn't usually talk to and you find out that they're really cool people. So I definitely recommend trying out for sports so you meet a lot of new people. How do you balance sports grades and a social life? So it's pretty hard to balance all of these things because I know most sports you have practice every single day after school then besides that you have to do homework and then you also have to keep your friends around you know so I think what worked best for me was I took advantage of every time I had so if I finished some work early in let's say an English class and I had the rest of the time period to just do whatever I would definitely take out my homework folder and just start working out all the homework I had to do or if your school has a free period, definitely don't slack and do your homework because it'll help a lot. I never had to come back after practice and stay up late doing my homework. I figured that I always just kind of found time to do it during school somehow. Or if I did, it would be like a 15 minute like little worksheet I had to do and then I'd be done. So definitely take advantage of the time you have in school or just any little time you can find. As for the social life, what I did, so I had practice every day after school, so I did that, then I did my homework, and then what I do is Saturdays, I would like reserve them for going out, hanging out with my friends or whatever, and then Sundays would be my homework day, so homework I had to catch up for over the weekend. So that's just what I did. Um, working out a routine is definitely good for you guys to do, so I definitely recommend doing that too. What classes should I take? So I can't really tell you which classes you should take just because it depends on the school and what you're interested in, but I definitely recommend taking classes that you feel will challenge you a bit just because I know it's fun to take classes where it's an easy A, but I think it'll be a little more fun to take classes that will be a little challenging to you so you get to push yourself and meet new goals, so I think that's really cool to do. Also, don't take classes just because your friends are taking them. I think that's the worst thing you can do. You'll be miserable. So I mean, definitely find classes that you're interested in because then you'll find people in those classes that are interested in the same thing as you and new best friend. There you go. How is the atmosphere of high school different from the atmosphere of middle school? Great question. You definitely have a lot more freedom in high school, so a lot more choices. So with choices, comes responsibility. So you definitely have to mature a little, well, a lot. You have to mature a lot, make your own decisions, and just make sure you're following the right path. Also in middle school, I know there's like a limit on which classes you can and can't take. In high school, I feel like there's a lot more options for classes and stuff that interests you. Of course, there's also sports. So I know in some middle schools, well, the middle school I came from, there weren't like actual sports teams. So in high school, that's a big difference. You get to try out for sports and stuff. So that's pretty cool. That was one of the things I was most excited for. Also pep rallies and stuff, so just a lot of new activities you wouldn't normally have in middle school. It's also different because walking through the hallways and seeing seniors or juniors who like are six feet tall with facial hair all over and they just look like men, you know, like they look like they're in their 30s. So that's a lot more different than walking around in middle school and the girls being taller than the guys. So that was a big difference for me. What do you do if you don't get along with someone on your team? If you don't get along with someone on your team, I think the best way to just think about it is best friends on the field and then your problems outside the field or the court. So just make sure that you can put aside all your problems, leave all your social life, your homework, your drama, all your problems off the court or field because I think it's really, really important for a team to have that bond and that connection and just 
for all of you guys to get along because that's what's gonna make the team work and make you guys a good team. So, and it's also gonna cause a lot of problems, make things really awkward if you get partnered with that person you don't get along with. So definitely make sure you're, at least you, you, you make sure you're the one that's mature enough to set your problems aside and just think, you know, best friends on the field and then whatever happens, happens off the court. How do you know who to trust and who not to trust? There's no specific way to know exactly like who your real friends are going to turn out to be or not. I think it's just sadly you find out when times get rough who's really there for you and who's really not. But I mean just be careful with your friends and who you think you can trust because you know it surprises you and once you're in high school you know things change and people grow and they go their separate ways so you'll definitely find your little group of friends and you'll definitely find who you can really trust. You lose friends like everybody says. Oh yes, you lose a lot of friends in high school. And I know it's pretty cliche to say that who you enter with is not who you're gonna leave with, but it's true, sadly it's true. Your best friends aren't gonna end up being your best friends anymore. And I'm not saying that's the case for everybody, but that's just like the overall view of it. They're gonna end up losing some friends and I mean that's okay because you're gonna meet a lot of new people and I just think that one loss isn't so bad once you meet a bunch of new people. So it's it's gonna be rough, you're gonna lose your best friends and stuff, but you're definitely gonna come out with a lot more friends and a lot of new people. Quantity over quality definitely applies because I feel like it's a lot better to have three friends than 30 friends who you can't really trust and you can't really consider your best friends or go to for whatever. So. Definitely don't worry about being popular or whatever. Definitely worry about having those people you can go to for whatever, whenever. Moving on to the advice part of this video. My first advice is to take it serious. I know a lot of people come in with the mentality of, oh, if I get a D, at least I'm still passing. Well, I think you should put that aside and definitely aim for getting A's, getting B's or C's and just work your way up because being mediocre in high school is not going to help you, especially your freshman year, which is your easiest year. And I know a lot of people think that freshman year doesn't count, but in the end, it's going to end up helping you a lot. So make sure you take it seriously. Second is to leave the funny kid act in middle school. I think it's so important for you guys to know that talking back to the teacher and just causing a big scene in class isn't funny anymore, it's not cute anymore. I mean, we're all here, we're all trying to pass biology, we're all trying to pass geometry, whatever class you guys are gonna be taking, but just leave the funny kid act in middle school. To all the girls, be careful with the upperclassmen because most of the time, they don't want you, they want your body. I mean, that's not the case for all, I know, I've seen some relationships where it's like a sophomore and a senior and wait, three years and counting, you know? But just be careful with them, you know? Skipping class isn't cool anymore. I think it's so annoying when I walk into the bathroom and I just see a bunch of girls just sitting there on their phones. Like for what? What do you come to school for? To sit in the floor bathroom all day? Might as well stay home and fake a signature or something, but don't be sitting in the bathroom. And I mean, don't be skipping school just in general. like. Don't be afraid to say no. I know once you get to high school, there's a lot more pressure on you to fit in and be cool and just do what everyone else is doing. And this involves drugs and sex and just anything in general. Like, don't be afraid to say no. Fitting in high school isn't that much of a big deal anymore. It's not like in the movies where you're like the popular kids or the popular squad. Like, there's none of that. Honestly, you just become friends with who you become friends with. And if they're your real friend, they won't pressure you into doing any of these things that you don't want to. So I mean, that will definitely reveal your true friends and who you should be hanging out with. Don't change yourself when it comes to these things. I know a lot of people change throughout high school and it can be good or bad, but just don't change your values, your beliefs, your morals, and who you are as a person just to fit in. Try to never be absent or miss a class. I get it if you're sick, you know, nothing you can do about it but try to not miss a class just because you don't feel like going because it'll definitely pull you back a lot i feel like if you miss like 30 minutes of class you have already missed like five units like i feel like you fall so far behind when you miss a class life hack would be to make a group chat with your class that way you guys can all help each other with homework you guys can all help each other with a project questions you guys might have because i know it's hard to sometimes find people who are doing the same homework as you in your class or in other classes so i think making a group chat with the class or just a big part of the class will definitely come in handy i know a lot of my friends 
friends did that this year. I wasn't aware of that. So that's something I'm going to be trying next year, hopefully, because it, it seemed to really help them. So you guys should do it too. Make sure you go to your freshman orientation. I don't know if every school has this, but I know mine does. I mean, I think every school should have this. Yeah, they should, but make sure you go to it because it helped me a lot. I attended it and it definitely helped me know where the hallways were already before I got to school. So once I got to school, I didn't feel like I was that lost as I would be as a freshman. I know that the teachers are out there helping you guys out and the students and you can ask anyone, but the freshman orientation definitely gives you a head start as to knowing where all the classes are going to be. Definitely read the books your teachers assign you because you will fall way behind and be lost as ever if you don't read your books for English. I know that I tried to not read a book and just get away with it in the first quarter of my freshman year and I was completely lost when we had to write an essay on the book and then tests and stuff and I tried to skim back really quickly but I mean I obviously wasn't going to be able to read all of it. I somehow got through it but I mean you know. Mark notes help. There's also quizlets where you can like quiz yourself in the books or they'll show you like the most important parts of them so definitely check those websites out if you're in a big mess like I was my first quarter but definitely try to keep up with the books you're reading in class. So that's all the advice I have for you guys. Definitely enjoy your freshman year and good luck with it. It's not as hard as people say it is and just have a lot of fun and welcome to high school. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments below. Um, some video suggestions you guys may have and might want to see in the future. Bye!